Great. What I wanted to show you guys today is this is my cranberry project and what I did was I took a container that had um, hummus, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, it had hummus in, in one side and then it had crackers in the other, other excuse me, um, and then they had some kind of like a full wrapping over the top, you know, to separate the two. But anyway, you take the, the crackers out of one container and, and, you know, dip it in the hummus. And um, I thought it was such a cool container, I saved it and kind of turned it into my own little, um, like mini greenhouse, so to speak. And um, so anyway, what I did was I took some cranberry seeds and I folded a paper towel and wetted it, of course, and I put the cranberry seeds. Now, there were ten cranberry seeds in here, and I, but I only left four of them. Um, and all of them but one sprouted. I'm going to see if I can get a better picture of this. Um, so, about a 90% germination rate. Uh, is what we got out of it. Um, and they did pretty good. And these things are teeny. Um, and I had to, you know, once they did sprout, take tweezers pretty much and um, plant them over here into this medium, which is just a, a standard seed starting medium. Um, you know, and it's just a, a pot because I plan on, it's kind of deep, I plan on leaving them in here for a while and then, you know, a little tray for water. But, um, Normally, when I'm not making a video, I, I keep them covered, you know, just to keep them real moist. And I'll, I'll, of course, I'll take the plastic wrap and secure it real tightly so it'll keep the moisture inside of there. Because, um, I mean, they're pretty much used to being in this, and then they had to go from there to here. Um, so anyway, for the first few weeks, I'll keep them moist. But another thing I had seen on the Internet was a gentleman, he would take a jar, and he germinated some you know, cranberry seeds inside of a jar, and I don't know how well you can see them, but there's some little seeds kind of floating around, and they did, they actually, well, you can kind of see that, they did germinate, I'm going to try to pull them, pour them out and see if y'all can see them better that way, hold on, I'll sit you guys down. Anyway, you can kind of see, I'm going to bring them into the light too, I don't know if I can get a better shot on it or not, but um, anyway, I'm hoping that you guys can, can kind of, well, that kind of turned out, get a picture of it, but they did sprout, um, and this method works also. I just wanted to show you, you could do either or, but again, you know, once they do germinate, you're going to have to use tweezers to plant them. Um, and I just tried to get the the roots slightly covered and I gently patted them, you know, patted some soil around it because um, they're so teeny you don't want to break them. To be honest with you, I think I would rather next time um, just start them in soil and see what pops up. But um, you know, these are two other methods that you can try. Then, of course, you know, once you get them planted, um, you know, keep them under a grow light unless you can set them outside. But um, anyway, that is my uh, cranberry. Excuse me, my, my mind went blank for a second. But that is my cranberry project. Um, and I want to say it took a little less than uh, two weeks for them to germinate. So if you're wondering. Um, that's about average. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.